First tonight, Omaha's mayor wants to shut down any rumors about why about why she wants to run the city when she's out of town. Good evening. I'm Bill Shammert. Right now, Jean Stothard has to transfer power when she leaves the city. She says that's outdated and she wants the city charter changed. But the charter committee chose 10 other recommendations. The mayor says that decision appears to be partisan and personal. Stothard is out of town tonight, so KTV News Watch 7's Alex McClune spoke with her by phone. Alex. Yeah, Bill, the mayor tells me she's with family in Cincinnati right now, and a city official confirms that trip lasts through Wednesday. But Mayor Jean Stothard says she should still have the ability to run the city, and she wants future mayors after her to have the same option. Let the voters decide and not three city council members on a law committee. Selected citizens review Omaha city charter at least every 10 years, but officials, including three city council members, prioritize which amendments end up on your ballot this November. City council member Danny Begley received letters and emails opposed to one of those proposals, and it would allow the mayor to retain power for the first five business days that they're out of town. Because right now, the city charter says the council president shall serve as acting mayor during any period in which the mayor is absent from the city. Stothert says it's outdated, but some want to keep that rule. It's been clearly articulated to me there is significant frustration and anger on this issue that even exceeded the leveling of the library. Council President Pete Festerson says it's important to have continuity and clear decision-making authority in case of an emergency and that anything can happen in a city at any time. While the city clerk says they only practice that transfer of power when the mayor leaves Nebraska, that's another reason why Stothert says it's outdated. We have instant connections now. There has been, and I'm in my 10th year now of mayor, and there not has been one critical decision that has been made while I was out of town that I could, that I had to be sitting at my desk in Omaha that I couldn't do if I was in St. Louis or, or the East Coast or Lincoln for that matter. Stothert says she spent a minimal amount of time out of town until the sudden loss of her late husband, Dr. Joe Stothert, last year. Different this last year, just because I was trying to spend some time with my kids to get them through this. It was personal. She recently married her longtime friend, Dr. Kevin O'Rourke, and she's now shutting down any rumors that she wants the charter changed in order to spend more time with him in St. Louis. So he does not live in St. Louis, and I'll spend a lot of time with my husband because he's moving to Omaha. As for those 10 prioritized charter proposals, City Council will take public comment August 16th. A week after that, they'll decide what to put on the November ballot, and you can read those proposals in a story at KETV.com. Reporting live, Alex McClune, KETV News Watch 7.